study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right, this is the first edition of Debunking the Heresy of Non-Dispensationalism. A common argument you'll hear from non-dispensational heretics is that saved saints in the Old Testament are saved by looking forward to the cross. Here's how you answer them on that. Luke chapter 9, verse 43 to 45. And they were all amazed at the mighty power of God. But while they wondered, every one at all the things which Jesus did, he said unto his disciples, Let these things sink down into your ears, for the Son of Man shall be delivered into the hands of men. But they understood not his saying, and it was hid from them, that they perceived it not, and they feared to ask him of that saying. Next verse is in Luke chapter 18, verses, let's check my notes. Luke chapter 18, verses 31 to 34. And he took unto them the twelve, and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and all the things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished. For he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles, and shall be mocked, and spitefully entreated, and spitted on. And they shall scourge him, and put him to death, and the third day he shall rise again. And they understood none of these things, and this saying was hid from them, neither knew, knew they the things which were spoken. What's going on there? Well, Jesus explained to them, you know, I'm going to die on the cross. I'm going to suffer for your sins. I'm going to be beaten and scourged. And they don't understand it. So if it's some kind of, if, it, if it's an Old Testament belief, because they'll say, these heretics will say, like from the Stephen Anderson New IFB group, they'll say that basically the saints in the Old Testament were preaching the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for salvation. Well, if that's the case, then how come they didn't know that? How come it says they understood none of these things? If it was an Old Testament belief that salvation has always been by the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, why does it say they, 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 had, they understood none of these things? Because it was not an Old Testament teaching. There are prophecies about it, Psalms 22, Psalm, or Isaiah 53, Isaiah chapter 50. There are prophecies about the, the uh, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. But it was not an Old Testament belief that, oh, they're saved by looking forward to the cross. If that was the case, Again, why does it say they understood none of these things? Because it was not Old Testament belief. It was not some kind of just belief that, oh, there's the cross, oh, there it is, you know? They didn't know about it, it was a mystery. That's dispensationalism. There is a mystery, it's revealed over time. You know, God works with different people at different times. So don't believe them when they say, oh, saints in the Old Testament are saved by looking forward to the cross. It's not true, okay? They, there, again, there were prophecies about it. There were, there were types of the Old Testament, or in the Old Testament. You know, Abraham offering his son upon the altar. The uh, lamb in Egypt, you know, the lamb's blood on the door in Egypt. There are types about it. But it was not an Old Testament belief that the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ was basically how they got saved. So, that's a common argument you'll hear from non-dispensational heretics. So, don't be deceived by them. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.